hello all you beautiful people welcome once again to the nice Roy 101 channel i'm bernice from niceroy.com and niceroyonline.etsy.com if you are new here hi hey hello i believe you are doing great please kindly consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell button so that when i put on something new here you receive the notice after watching this if you like what i do kindly give me some thumbs up because it will help youtube to send me to other people that might need this video your like will be of great support to me so today we're going to do a quick one um this was a request from nixie in one of the comments for the europe star uh, scrap caps that she wanted the one that is done without a satin lining so today i'm doing a tutorial on europe star scrap cap without satin lining i've had a couple of, of requests from um, people and i'm going to do a series of videos to answer all those questions so if you've requested for something and i've not done it you can kindly remind me in the comments and i've listed some down that i know i'm going to do so a couple of things are coming up if you are new here subscribe because it's going to get exciting um so today i'm going to do the europe star scrap cap without satin lining there are people that have tough hair like myself i wouldn't mind wearing the cap without sat satin lining if you have delicate hair you go with the one with the satin lining so um we are going to go to the table and get it uh going but before that have a look at uh have a look at what is going on in the facebook group then then afterwards we get into working on um a Europe style scrap cup without the satin lining. Okay, so this is our Facebook group, Nice Ray 101 and all creators. Everybody is uh, welcome to join the Facebook group. When you join, you show us um, what you're also making. Where, if you are making something, if you are not making anything, you can still join. If you, you find people to buy stuff from. So everybody is absolutely welcome to the facebook group okay so so far um we've had some new members i welcome them and i shared um this fabric from um sl i've been buying from cynthia afri clothings and also if you are watching this and you make um a lot of items to sell it's great to have tax on them so i share this um i've uh, collaborated with my supplier and he has given me some amazing prices so if you need um tax to brand your clothes this is my nice roy i will help you to procure some the prices are very good and so far i think is the best i've seen so if you need some tax to put in your clothing contact me or it is even on my website you can you can order from the website and send me i've left a an email that you can sell the send the business name or the logo to so that we'll use it to make it for you um this is this is the color i chose but if you have um custom colors you want to use just send me a message let me find out from production and we take it up from there okay so this is uh, something that desiree the the buffer scrap cap that desiree did so if you go to the facebook group you'll see all these things this is a sublimation that was done by kayla so people are doing nice things someone saying thank you for being added so these are also um things that were done by kayla as well and this was this was also done by kayla as well so that is va valentine wishes or uh yes okay this is also okay last wall so if you are doing something please come and share this was done by q camp i hope i mentioned that name well okay and kayla as well she did some great beautiful scrap caps you see she she is really selling so if you are considering making this for the the tutorials i'm teaching for sale you can start because um people are making good money out of the things that i'm teaching and that is the reason why i put all those tutorials there okay so this is a teteban tutorial if you've not seen it is on the youtube channel you can check it out and this is a scrunchy tutorial that i i did so it's very easy 
you you wouldn't have to turn any loop inside out and this is how this is a a tutorial for a head wrap that i did that is also on this channel you can check it out so this is something from chris crystal thompson she's been doing great job crystal thank you so much i saw you shared um the facebook group and i really appreciate you for that thank you so much if if you have long hair and you want long caps you can uh contact crystal Thom thompson on uh, facebook and she will make you some beautiful long caps like what she has done so this is also done by kayla beautiful cap you can also contact her in the group as well if you need something like nice like this she'll make it for you and this is a durag um this is a drag uh, tutorial I did right here. So it is also on this channel. If you want it, uh, you can check it out. Someone has requested for me to make it with just a regular sewing machine. Without, I use this a serger for this one. So that tutorial is going to come up. If you want to have, a, have it or see it, and if you've not subscribed, kindly do subscribe. There is a free pattern that comes with this. So subscribe to the channel and get all this this was done by desiree yes a very beautiful turban using the tutorial that i did and renee also did these beautiful ones as well so a lot is going on in the facebook group this is a tutorial right here on the channel that i did so and this is um sabine's um caps she has opened a new Etsy shop. If you're a nurse that would like to buy scrap caps, um, you go to Etsy. She's hand search. I'll link her shop in the description below. Uh, and I'll pin it to the comments too. So you visit her shop. She has this caps and many more other beautiful ones that she has added after making these ones. So you can um go to her shop and and purchase it if you need some okay so let's keep going uh, okay this is pauline she did this beautiful um caps as well and this is a the high band tutorial that i did if you've not seen you can check it out and this is um uh, a satin scarf tutorial to that i did and there are desiree go beautiful um hat that she made she showed it so a lot is happening in the facebook group you can come and join we are not that much now as at the time that i'm doing this video but i know we are growing daily we are growing daily so if you join you can showcase your stuff uh, this is some um, some fabrics that i got and i showed i got on sale at walmart that i showed in the group so this is a beautiful cup that was done by um desiree okay so yeah this is another beautiful thing uh, cups that were done by renee okay and once again desiree and vicky beautiful colors so it keeps going this is crystal thompson again okay so she added her price in i think her social media so if you can see it i think it's clear enough you can contact her through that and purchase from her so she you can see she does some beautiful stuff so crystal high five to you you are doing a great job okay so this is also from crystal thompson she if you have long hair dreadlocks braids you can order from her she does a great job okay so mary showed her new singer sage a beautiful one and crystal thompson again beautiful um long uh, bonnet or oh, let me see long caps okay so this is uh, mary showing something she did for her mom all right okay yes i'm here my little cutie i'm so excited about this um video this is the daughter of desiree she's nine and she's sewing already isn't it amazing wow i just i've watched this 
over and over again and i told desiree i was going to put it on the youtube channel so desiree i don't know your daughter's name but tell her i'm so proud of her i love what she's doing i wish my daughters can do this sewing already at nine it's amazing look at a cute sewing machine and the beautiful fabric and she's so concentrated on what she is doing and i can see it's coming out really well isn't she amazing cute an angel so desiree show this to your daughter say i'm so proud of her for what she is doing whenever she does something on the sewing machine just share then i'll put it up here to encourage uh, other parents to also help their uh, little children myself i have to learn how to I, I have to learn this from you to teach my kids how to sew the sewing machine is so cute super cute thank you for sharing this it's so inspiring thank you <laughs> all right so we keep going then desiree also shared her sewing machine you know, my major thing was to share Desiree's daughter. So well, since that one is done, I, I think I can go from here. <laughs> we can go ahead and do the um the scrap habit. This is also something that Desiree did. Um, she learned it from a different channel. This is a beanie tutorial I did. The other scrap cup I did. I changed the group um banner. Then there's a work work from sorry renee renee johnson beautiful work this is from Rena as well and this is from desiree i think i've shared some of this already this is the desiree's work um and her daughter is wearing it so she's queen dumb so you can look for her on um facebook and possibly purchase from her yes and it goes on and on and on so these were also made by lashitas i call her chichi say call me chichi so i call her chichi beautiful work that was done i don't know i might have shared this in the previous one so yes i think i shared this but please and yeah so i think all these i've shared them in the previous videos as well so yes that's by kayla so this so far this is what is going on in the facebook group so if you like to join you can join and every once in a while i'll come and share your things here and this is going to go on and on and on and as the videos get more watches you might be contacted by someone to do something for you this channel is not for me alone it's for the facebook group members as well so as i promote what i do i'm going to promote all of you as well because i believe there is enough abundance in the world for all of us to go around the fact that somebody is going to buy from you doesn't mean i'm going to lose customers i'm also going to have my own customers so anything i can do to help every one of you in the group to grow your business count on me i'm here and up for it i'm going to do it so this is this for the facebook group today we are ending it here with kayla's scarf then as as more comes i'll i'll wait till a lot of things have been posted then i'll show it off again so come and join even if you've done something that is not from my channel from somewhere else if you have a different channel you are doing different things come and join us in the facebook group show off your stuff and I'll put it up here let every, and let everybody see it. You never know who will watch it and who will contact you. It might be a big break, a big contract. You never know. So join us in the Facebook group and let's keep the fire burning. Thank you. So moving on to the scrub cap. Okay, so these are what we are going to need. If you have access to the... Um, the pattern has been done already. I'll link it in the description below and I'll pin it down in the comments. You can use it. You cut, um, I think this is a small, oh, this is medium body and small top. Okay, so whichever way you want it, you can use the pattern. If you, you have access to it, you can print it and cut. You can go and get a pattern. It's free. It's either in the Facebook group or 
is on my website so on my website in the menu there is free patterns niceroy.com when you go to niceroy.com you go to free patterns you get all the patterns that i've done so far they are there so you can get them so if you want the pattern you can download them now I've, i'm beginning to realize there are a lot of people watching this that are not able to download the pattern and they will need some exact measurements to work with so this one i'm going to do um this i think in the very first video on this channel i explained and give measurements so you can watch that one and get the measurements for the small medium and and the large ones okay so these are the things we need you just need a strip of fabric i think this fabric is about eight eight inches by 44 inches this is all you need to do your europe style scrap cap and with this you can get four caps in one yard so that is how much you can make in one yard and we need our 17 inches of elastic 17 inches then our toggle so this is my label this is the center fold one that i use on this one i'll show you how i place it in this one so it brands it and makes the cap look um high quality you see it gives it a new whole touch so if you need some of this as i said you can contact me you can purchase it on the website um with your custom colors and your brand name okay so i use this sometimes in place of an iron so it's it's um i use it to roll on these seams to flatten it and our scissors i'll use this to pull the um the elastic out when we get there i'll show you how if you've watched my previous videos then you know what this one does okay so what you are going to do is um i'm going to do a medium size of this um of this cap so what um i'm going to do is i'm going to do this time around i, I just want to do 30 inches around the head you know I just want to do 30 inches around the head so i'm folding it uh, right side to right side then i'll cut um i'll cut the 30 inches so uh, i'll only need 15 on the fold oh. okay so now uh, uh let me cut off the salvage area okay so from here i'll just measure so you any measurement that works with you you can always tweak this so um okay let me explain it this way i'm doing like a medium size but I, um i want my medium size to be 30 um inches around the head it's going to be adjustable so this is it then if i was going to do a smaller size now let me show you this um i've just cut these that i i've been using when i'm making my orders so it makes things a whole lot easier for me i've done the large i've done the small and the medium a second okay so um i've cut on purpose i just use it to make my work easier when i have a lot of others to work on so i have the small medium and large with the with the pony i usually make it 14 inches long okay i don't have it here because it, this sheet was too small to cut um it all the way open so okay so this is it let me give you a fair idea of the measurement those of you that do not have um printers to print the um the part patterns this is slightly different from the measurements of the pattern so the small size i've been using for my orders is almost eight inches by six inches okay that is for the small one then the medium is about nine inches by seven inches and the large 
my large cups the top is about 11 inches by 8 inches so that is a fair idea of how i cut the tops of my cups besides the you can use the measurements of the pattern as well they also work well i've just tweaked it a little okay so if i was going to make a small i would have um done the body maybe about 13 and a half to 14 you see for a small cup remember 13 and a half to 14 i'm making my medium 15 the medium i'm making it 15 i'm just adding half an inch 15 uh let me say one inch so it will be 31 circumference but here it will be 15 and a half i'll stick that one off so if it was going to be a large um cap then i could i can go up to 18 in order for me to sometimes use just one strip for the large size i take off 11 inches from here then i'll cut it off to make the top then i'll use whatever is remaining to be the body so those that have been selling that is one trick that you can use the uh, 11 inches here for the large works well so after you take off the 11 inches from the 44 inches strap then the, you use the remaining for the body of the cap so that is a little explanation right there so let's do this okay so 15 and a half i'm just going to cut oh sorry okay i have the body of the cap and then let me mark the wrong side so that i'll know okay so this is the wrong side what i'll do is i'll fold it like this and fold it again then i'll take the medium cut i just fold it like this i'll put it on I've eyeballed it a lot, so you see, it, it's right there to where I folded it. So I'll cut the top. The medium size is like one side fits many, so a lot of others come for the medium size. Okay, so now we have the top of the cap and we have the body of the cap. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'll take my tag or label. I'll put it right here in the middle like this. Remember, this is right side to right side. So outside here is the wrong side. I'll put it here on the wrong side, right along the edge. And I'm going to, I, I've been using the sedge to do this. You can use your sewing machine to do this part now one thing that you can do if you don't have a so uh, sorry if you don't have um a serger is to first stitch on the right side if you don't have a serger is to first stitch on the right side very close to the line after you've stitched on the right side then you turn it like this then you come and get a closed end like this you make sure you stitch for the stitch part inside to be inside so that at the end of the day you will not have any fraying edges so on that one if you are going to use a label you first put it in there and stitch then when you turn it on the other way it will pop up it will pop out right there okay so i've missed my the right side okay so this is the wrong side i marked it so i'm putting right sides together then i'll put my tag right there 
and I'm going to stitch on there. Okay, so this is it. I've stitched it down. You can use a sewing machine to stitch, then afterwards you use a serger. But my serger works really well, so I don't need to use the sewing machine again. So now that I've done this, I'm going to um stay uh i'm going to search all around the end to clean it up now i'm doing if if you don't have a serger one once again you it i'll be you i'll be putting the elastic in and before i fold i'll serge it when i'm i come back i'll show you what to do if you don't have a serger okay so i've said all along it the next thing you are going to do is to put the elastic is that elastic inside now this is the back part that's where we joined make sure it is um flat then you get the front part the center front we are going to measure about seven inches from the center to the back center going to the back okay so you mark down your seven inches here and on the other side as well okay so what you are going to do is you're going to fold it an inch then this is where the ruler comes in you fold it out an inch then you roll it all along to make sure it is safely down So you do it all round. Okay, so we you see it's clean as if you've used an iron. Now, if you don't have a serger, this is what you do. You first fold small of the edge of the fabric inside before you do the one inch fold so that there will not be any fraying edges right there so where we mark the seven inches this is the okay this is the front and this is the back where we stitch together so you put the the front part of the um, elastic towards the front you open you put it down there and you put it you you cover it up make sure it is up to the fold line so that it wouldn't be in the way when you are stitching because we have said we just leave it if you've not said you fold it inside to get clean edges so this is it what i'm going to do is um i'll take it to the sewing machine and stitch on this several times to make sure that it is there then i'll pick this one and bring it to the other side where i mark seven inches as well i'll put it in the to the fold line and stitch on it several times to make sure that it is safely in there and it will move okay so now i've stitched it in you see it's right in the tight on this side and on the other side remember the back is to the back and the two fronts is to the front side so this one goes back to where the stitch line and you see it's going to lay at the back there so you are going to put it in there and cover it if you are a beginner you are going to hold it down you are going to hold it down and pin it so that it wouldn't be in your way whilst you are stitching on it so whilst you are stitching around the brim not on the elastic so with this the elastic i've pushed it to the line and i'll be say i'll be stitching uh, on the tip of the um serge area okay so what i'll do is i'm going to stitch all around it and we are going to leave an opening 
where we will pull the elastic out so maybe an inch opening so i will start from here then i will i will stitch all around it then i'll come and finish here leaving that space in there so that i can pull the elastic out and remember please make sure the elastic is out of your way okay i'm now done stitching all around the brim and you see i've left that space in here so there is a a place here i can reach in to get the elastic so i use my tweezers i reach in there i get the elastic i pull it out okay then i add the toggle to make the cap a uh, sorry adjustable okay so i tie a knot here to make sure the toggle doesn't fall off okay so we are almost done what you are going to do is to put the top now hold it you can create a notch right here to get the center front now because of the stitch line we have the center um back so you take the top of your uh, cap and you as it's folded equally like this you fold it again and create a knot to get the center front and the center back on this one as well so we are going to pin it to the top so it should be right size to right side okay i mark here this one side. this is my right side and this is the right side of the cap so right side to right side then you pin you begin to pin to the back You can pin the center back to the center back as well to make things easy okay i'm sorry for the no the background noise my husband is on phone so he's he's outside the room but then i think some of you can still hear all of you can still hear some male voice behind that's my husband okay so from the front i pinned to the back and from this side i pinned to the back now you can see that the, this is more than the space we have left here so what you do is you just do a pleat or two you just do a pleat or two so my first pleat this one just eyeball no specific measurement and it will work just fine then you put this one down you pin it down then this one too you eyeball you pin this side down and pin this side down and we are good to go to go and stitch on it on the sewing machine what i do is since my surgery sews very well i'll just sage all around it and i'll be done now here is the catch if you don't have a sager you feel you first pin this wrong side to wrong side and stitch it when you finish you turn it to this side then right side to right side you stitch making sure the, that the first allowance is hidden inside i'm going to put a video up to the top right here sorry to the top left or to the top right wherever it appears you take it that shows how you sew what how i sew the satin lined one without a, a serger that will give you a fair idea of how to stitch so that there wouldn't be any fraying 
end so um now i'll take you to the sewing machine or the sedger and stitch all around it okay so now i'm done stitching all around the top so we'll turn it inside out and now it's done our cup is done so professional cup professional europe style scrap cup is done so this is it please if you have any questions you can comment down below and please if you like how it came out give me some thumbs up your like really helps me so kindly like the video for me now we'll try it on damika to see how it looks okay so this is how it came out and this is how it's looking okay um to all my customers this is going to be available in the etsy shop so and on my website as well so if you would like to purchase it you can purchase it and before i forgot i got this fabric from um cynthia afri clothing i don't know if i've mentioned this uh earlier on but i'm so excited about her website that i keep saying it over and over again she has some amazing fabrics i'm going to link her shop down in the description so if you and i'll pin it in the comments as well so if you need african print fabric i have an unboxing video coming up showing fabrics that i got from her you'll be amazed so subscribe to the channel if you are interested in african print fabric go to cynthia's shop you are going to get a whole lot of variety so this is how our, our cup came out please kindly like subscribe share this video with your friends and come join us in the facebook group because there are some amazing people in the group i can tell you that thank you for staying and watching i appreciate you all so much tell your friends about nice Roy 101 and support us to grow thank you as always a lot of love and light coming from me to you stay blessed